All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you one of my all-time favorite card tricks. Uh, this is something I do if somebody, you know, asks me to show them a trick. This is usually the one I'm going to resort to just because uh, the end effect is really cool. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's say the spectator could shuffle up the deck. They could pick any card they want to. It is a completely random choice. In this case, we have the nine of spades. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll put my signature on it. It won't really make much of a difference, but I just want to show you guys that I'm not duplicating um, this card here. So put that here and then from here what we can do is let's say we just dry off this this signature a little bit you put this into the middle and you get this card mixed up into the deck and let's say we give the deck a cut as well so the cards getting mixed up it's lost somewhere somewhere in the middle and over here as you guys can see the box is completely empty so let's say we put the cards into the box, we give the box a shut. This way I cannot touch them whatsoever. So um, at this point, if I was doing this live, I would put the cards into my pocket, but you guys can't see that off screen. So I have a pillowcase here, and as you can see, there's nothing in here. I promise you I'm not doing anything like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna stick this shut deck inside the pillowcase, and hopefully within two seconds, I should be able to grab out your card from the deck, and from the box is still gonna be shut. So if you go ahead and flip over your card, it's going to be the nine of spades. So this is a trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys can do the trick. So um, I'm also going to be doing a deck giveaway with this trick. So if you want to win this card and also um, a packet or a deck of cards, make sure to go ahead, like the video, comment down um, anything. Let's say maybe the suggestion you have for my channel and I'll go through and pick one of you guys and that is how you can win this card. So uh, for the actual tutorial part, um, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is have the spectator freely choose a card from the deck. So it can be anyone, let's say they were to pick uh, this card and they were to sign it. And the only reason I signed it in my video uh, was because I didn't want you guys thinking I had duplicate cards or something. So you don't really have to have the card signed, but let's say you do. Um, all you have to do is control this card back to the top. So if you were to stick it into the middle and then do a double undercut, moving their card back to the top. Essentially, you're just telling the spectator you're mixing up the cards, losing their card in the deck, but in reality, this one is going on top. And then you can do a ripple shuffle or something just to make sure it looks like it's getting mixed up, but here it is still on top. And at this point, what you want to do is show the spectators that the box is empty and also that your pocket is empty. So you can do this trick by putting your hands in your pocket and reversing the pockets. Uh, that way, the spectator sees there's nothing in there. And the trick is basically you're putting the cards inside the box, making sure they're flat. And all you have to do at this point is just push in and squeeze the card box. And as you can see, the top card is going to bow out. And as it bows out, you see this little curve, you close these flaps up and you stick the top of the box before that. This way the card is technically outside of the case. So from here, you have the cards like this and you can kind of just display the box to the spectators kind of nonchalantly saying, look, the box is closed. And they're really not gonna think anything too much of it because they can't really see it if you're flashing in like this. And from here, what you do is you stick the box you put this directly inside your pocket, and in one swift motion, it should pretty much look like this. Let's say off screen, I'm putting the box inside my pocket. So the spectator, you're putting the box inside your pocket, and in one swift motion, your hand follows. So let's go ahead and pretend this is gonna be my, po my pocket. So your hand's going down by your side, you're putting the box in, you come out empty-handed, and then within two seconds, you're gonna be able to grip that card that's inside your pocket and pull it out in like half a second and you push the deck back out and you show them that the box is still closed. So this trick is really cool. Like I said, it has a really good effect just because you are only using, um, you know, real ordinary objects. These aren't gimmicks at all. So you can do this with a borrowed deck. Uh, so one more time, the card is going to be inside here, just like that inside the box. This goes inside your pocket. This goes right into your side. If you come out empty handed under the cover. You should be able to quickly grab that card show it to the spectator and show them the box is still closed. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to participate in the deck giveaway if you are interested in doing that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like the video, and as always, thanks for watching.